In this Fireworks CS4 tutorial, I'll show you how to add custom shadows to your graphics to help you stand apart from other designers and webmasters who simply use the pre-baked drop shadow effect within their art program. And this will work for uh, Fireworks, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, or any art program you're in that'll handle distortion of images. So we'll go to create a new Fireworks PNG and give it a width 800 and a height 500 any size you want is fine it's just a quick example and uh, you can see click on the shape tool usually it's a rectangle there first you grab a donut draw out your donut and shift the uh, or drag the inner radius out a little bit okay let's make another Donut. Actually, let's give this one a an inner shadow. Real quick, just so it has a little bit of depth. And let's change that to blue. And the inner shadow. Okay, now it looks more like a donut or a ring. Okay, so now I press Control C and Control V, and copy and paste the same image, on, image right on top of itself. And now we have two of them. Now this one I'll add the regular, uh, the pre-baked drop shadow. Go to Shadow and Glow in the filters, and drop shadow. And there's the default drop shadow. And you can manipulate the depth you can manipulate the opacity and you can manipulate the blur it has on it and you can also manipulate its angle which is all really cool things and most programs are like that uh, but with this effect and I'll show you how it's different you can't achieve this effect with that uh, pre-baked drop shadow so we go to C we'll highlight this one press control C control V paste another one right on top like we did last time and this one in the back remove the inner shadow make it black go down in the filter give it a blur Gaussian blur Gaussian however you say that and you can adjust the blur that slider press OK and now bring its opacity down now you grab the one in the back go to distort Go up to the transform tool, distort, and this is what you cannot achieve with the regular drop shadow effect. So there you have it. Two drop shadows. One will help you stand apart a little more because it's custom. This one everybody uses. Okay, that's it. We'll see you guys next lesson.